Hey, if you've ever heard the phrase, man, he really hammered that drive. Well, you know, it could be a lot more literal than you ever realized. And right after this, I'm going to use this flimsy ball peen hammer to show you how to hammer your drives, get more distance. Hey, this is Steve from hititlonger.com. I'm on a journey to hit longer and straighter drives, be longer and straighter just in general, because I think that makes golf more fun. Today, I'm going to teach you literally how to hammer your drive further down the fairway. I think this hammer was in my dad's um, chest of tools when I was a little kid. This hammer is probably 50 or 60 years old I'm guessing. Not only is it going to help you with the concept of hitting it out there longer but it might give you a little bit more accuracy as well. Let's take a look. We're talking about a hammering analogy. Uh, let's look at it down the line where imagine for a second my left side of my body is up against a wall like in the bathroom or your bedroom. Walls running eight feet up and down like this. So my heel's right up against it. And there's a nail sticking out, oh, about, oh, let's say thigh high. And it's sticking out about an inch. Imagine the nail is there. If I really wanted to hit it in in one, I'd have to get a pretty big wind up at it like this. Step through it, elbow leading. Notice my elbow is bent and my wrist is pinned back. I'm going to straighten the elbow and flap the wrist into it. Wham! Just like that. Now what's interesting about imagining the nail where it is, down here at thigh high out in front of you is, it forces you to put your body into position which would also be made, used to make a great golf swing. So this way, and notice I'm not holding the wrist. You'd never hammer the nail. In fact, you might break the base of it up against the wall, maybe bust through the wall with this end if you held it. But instead, you have to release the energy in the wrist, wham, wham. Let's take a look at it from face on now. Here's the wall coming down just like this. The nail sticking out about this high. I'm going to draw back, cock the wrist, bend the elbow, put a little weight into it, and then to get my hammer in one, I might measure to the nail a couple times like this, and then wham, wham. Now notice that my wrist has not held if it was doing it with the left wrist, wham. See, I would have to make the wrist go into extension as the right wrist will go into flexion or palmer flexion, depending on uh, what era <laughs> you learned your terminology in. Mike Austin used palmer flexion. A little bit of shift to the left, and I'm getting rid of the energy in the wrist as I snap the elbow straight pound that nail in there. Because the nail is where it is, it forces you to get the concept of body positioning as you're coming into a shot. With the rump still behind you, not losing any of the angle. See, if I lose the angle this way, I won't be able to reach the nail down there. So. It enables you to keep the posture so the arms can stay in front of your hip. And now you're free to just hammer as hard as you can. So in that way, it might be teaching you as well how to get the path pretty straight, how to keep your posture. It's going to create a lot of good habits like uh, getting the divot ahead of the ball, compressing the ball, um, controlling the face a little bit better. So give this a shot. Um, you know, you could do it against, uh, if you had uh, some wood or something that you don't mind hammering into. Um, I guess you could do it softly into a very thick tree. Wouldn't be too bad. Or you could just practice actually hammering some real nails this way. 
but you've got to be willing to kind of go for it. But you can see how with this, that there has to be a snap of the wrist or a throwing of the hammer head about the wrist as you're coming into the ball. And there is no holding back or trying to hold lag or maintain angle. It's more of a timing of the snap that puts it into the nail over here. It's so common sense, but unfortunately so much golf teaching has moved away from just natural movements of the body and everyday skills that we've already learned that this might be a great analogy for you to try. Give it a shot and tell me what it feels like to you down in the comments. If you have any questions, um, leave them down there as well. I'm gonna get back to, to hammering drives now. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Thanks again to Golf Development Complex um, for the beautiful scenery and the beautiful day here. We're in Moore Park, California. Come out and see us sometime. Oh, don't forget to pick up my free ebook and my free uh, slice cure video. I've left the links down below in the description. Just pick them up down there and leave a comment. Like, subscribe. <laughs> see you in the next video. And if not, I hope I'll see you further down the fairway. Thanks so much for watching.